What is your love for music? It's an amazing phenomenon and it is really hard to put into words what makes music so powerful and how it moves us. I always feel uh, happiest when I, after a concert someone says, I was moved by that because that means their soul really was transported, it was, it was uplifted um, and they were inspired and possibly they can take that away from the concert hall and feel differently as they go through the streets um, continuing and so there is a certain magic about music. How did a composer like Beethoven who wrote a piece over 200 years ago wrote something that we are still moved by now? It's he, he was genius, I mean, it, it's fantastic. Mm -hmm. And then we look at, okay, it, throughout the years, orchestras have had different styles and traditions, mm -hmm. and they've played that Beethoven symphony many different ways. And yet people are still moved by all the different ways that people speak it. Mm -hmm. uh, and then you look at the conductor. The conductor doesn't say a word in, in the performance. They don't make any noise at all. And yet somehow they're connecting with all the musicians on stage and we're all listening to each other and breathing together and we somehow play in harmony. How does that all work? I, it, it's, it's one of the greatest mysteries, but I am obsessed by it. I, I love to see how I can um, go deeper into that experience. And what helps me is to really know everyone's part. And then I can just connect to it, even if it's just in my little finger. It, it's <laughs> just having all that, those people combine or with the same joy of the music and and then somehow the audience feels like they're right there on stage with us. It, it, I love it, it's fantastic. You're here in Santa Fe representing uh, Pro Musica and the Women of Distinction Initiative. Uh, tell me about why you think it's important for a woman to be in the arts, especially in a leadership role. Well, uh, historically, I think there haven't um, been a lot of female leaders in, in the arts. And so um, I think we're coming to a time when um, everyone uh, is more open-minded about what women can do uh, with their careers. And so uh, when I was growing up, um, my mum said, Gemma, you can do whatever career you like. Um, so long as you work hard and you have talent. And I actually, she, she said, even being a woman. And I laughed at her because <laughs> I thought, of course, yeah. <laughs> why right. would that make a difference? Mm -hmm. And for me, it, it really, ha I think uh, I've worked hard at this career um, for about uh, 17 years now. And um, it's always a, a long and steady road, just growing uh, incrementally. Um, but, uh, it's something that I really believe in and I, I want to continue pursuing. Um, I think for others, uh, it's encouraging for them to see a female leader in this role um, because it maybe it, it makes them think that they can do um, it, it as well. And uh, I think we're seeing more and more female conductors, which is really exciting. Can you remember a specific time when you were much younger, when music just spoke to you? You knew it was this divine message that came to you and said, you will be a musician, you will be a conductor. Do you have a memory like that? I do, yes. Um, I was 12 years old playing the violin in an, a youth orchestra. Uh, and so I think that's why I love youth orchestra so much. Uh, there were 200 of us on stage and we did a, a really powerful piece and Mussorgsky's pictures at an exhibition and in the Great Gates of Kiev I made a promise to my young self to always be part of an orchestra. Uh, I didn't know exactly how it would pan out um, and then when I was 15 I got first chance to conduct and I said to my best friend that night I was like this is it this is what I want to pursue um, and uh, the road just started from there. Started asking questions that's the biggest thing be curious. Do women bring something unique to orchestral conducting? I think that everyone brings something unique uh, to orchestral conducting um, and to music. Uh, as uh, an artist, 
uh, it is our job to find what we are uniquely strong at, or what our potential is and how to get there in realizing that potential, um, what our weaknesses are that we really need to work on. Um, and uh, it's finding that unique voice that you have. Who are you as a person? Um, especially as a conductor, it's all about communication. So how do you communicate both uh, very efficiently in words and rehearsal where it's in front of a lot of people, it's not private, um, and yet it has to be so direct and somehow um, resonate with that person um, in, in a high uh, stakes environment, um, and also physically, how you show the music without talking, without using words. Um, and also sometimes it's just a miracle, how, how <laughs> maybe telepathically we connect. I mean, that's a really important leadership role. I mean, what yes. do you bring to it as a woman? Leadership uh, skills that I, I find very important are um, being a good listener. So for the first rehearsal, um, when I meet an orchestra, especially for the first time, but even if it's one that I've met for many times and I'm just seeing where we are at in the first rehearsal, I want to know what they're giving and then um, being able to build upon that foundation and unifying everyone's voice so that we have a really strong unified interpretation at the end of the week. Your end goal is to create the best collaboration possible. And yes. you at the helm need to kind of uh, navigate those areas. Yes, and it's definitely creating an environment on stage. Mm -hmm. That's what a leader does. Um, we have to have the artistic vision of the piece, but also how we are going to work as a team. So I really try to make a positive environment, very supportive of each other, and one where we all very much mutually respect what we are bringing because everyone's voice is valuable in an orchestra. What do you hope to achieve with your work? I really hope to uh, bring uh, people together and uh, to make people feel uplifted uh, and that's what I fell in love with when I was 12 years old, the fact that I was creating something that was bigger than myself and it was the idea that when we come together we can create something powerful.